everyone, it's Emily and today I'm back with creating my OC part 2. I decided to stick with doing my voiceover because I think I find it more efficient. So right now I am just drawing Prince Solomon, which I was talking about earlier in the last video. Kind of inspired to design his character by this Disney Prince character that I saw on Pinterest. Don't know exactly which one at the top of my head, but I just remember that it was one of them and he was blonde, although I ended up making him have brown hair and I have no idea why. I still picture him as this boy who kind of, he's still like quite annoyed that the fact that he's probably not going to be able to be king unless like something happens to Aurora when she's young. So I think that prospect kind of uh, creates a motive for his a little bit of dislike towards his elder sister knowing that he thinks that he's going to be a more suitable monarch than her but he knows that he can't really say that in front of his family or her certainly he himself also dislikes priscilla because she kind of always snitches on him when she catches him doing something wrong for example if he's like it's eating some strawberries off a very scrumptious looking cake. In fact, when I was like filming for part one, like the beginning part, I used a script that I wrote in my notes, like previously on my iPad and just read it because I was kind of nervous because I don't really know what to say and keep myself going. But I feel that now I've kind of got the hang of it. Sometimes I'm still hesitating a bit, but I think I've definitely got a little bit better at least. That's how I think about it. I mean, obviously when I did it, I had to like remove the volume when I edited it because otherwise it's kind of annoying for me because I was making these really weird sounds trying to make it like an ASMR like I was just like because I was kind of bored and that's what I do when I draw that's like the real sounds that I do when I draw and I think at some point I might do a draw with me and with that draw with me you might hear me doing some really weird noises but like for now I just put the volume off and I hope you guys understand that. So I was just finishing off the line art and I was kind of impatient with it because I really wanted to get onto colouring because it was like so excited and I, as I was like doing it really quickly for the faces which is probably why I made some mistakes on the face. Like now that I look at the face, the face looks really weird especially for like the brother and the mum. I think like... I tried to make something a bit a smaller version of what I did on the big portrait of Aurora, but yeah. So if you're wondering why I have that paper in the background, it's kind of because I um, did a sketch earlier in originally having like the cat on like that ledger chair thing, if you know what I mean, like that really fancy comfortable one but I realized that I didn't really have enough space to do that and I forgot to move it from the camera frame which is why it's there so I hope it doesn't like bother you too much but certainly when I look at it it does bother me I also named my characters so I had Queen Margaret, King Charles and I called the Prince Solomon and obviously Princess Aurora. So now I got really excited because it was like finally time for me to get my colours out if you know what I mean. I always get really excited when I get to start doing my colours because I feel like I have finally done the drawing and I can now start colouring. So I just bought my stuff. It was like such a big clump and actually everything fell down like all the pens fell out of like the case and it was so annoying because they spilled all over the floor and I had to pick them up which like took me about 10 minutes so I am gonna get organizers for them so I'm just using an ordinary 131 to do Aurora's face I also decided to test four reds for her lips I remember that vivid red looks like so dark and I got really surprised and so I just tested them on the side. So I thought that I'd end up using yellow for 
the crown but then I realized that the yellow kind of looked really weird so I ended up just using a sand color honestly I think it looks better because if you don't get the right shade of yellow it kind of pops in your face and it kind of looks really bad so I also just used I think it was like a light pink or a fruit pink to do her hair and I just wanted to make this like really candy flossy vibes and just like all poofy. I didn't want it to be like too vibrant pink because then I think that it's too in your face. I finished coloring her hair and then I was kind of deciding whether I was gonna go for a blue or a pink color scheme. When I was drawing them, I ended up going for a spectrum green because it's just like this teal color, which I really like. And it really just brings out the, her dress and makes it pop out from the rest of it. I think in the camera it looks super dark, but in reality it's like kind of really light. And it's better than the pastel blue that actually comes with the set. So I think it's really important to swatch the markers as well. I finished colouring in her dress and then I just used the colours which I used for the um before the drawing and i use them to color aurora like the actual text because i think that it kind of pops so i use those colors and i think it turned out really well especially with the because it's like aurora and i thought i was just going for only pink at the beginning but i thought i wanted to spice it up a bit so i put in the blue so the reason why I tend to speed up the camera footage is because originally sometimes my videos go up to 20 minutes so and I can't really upload that because that's a lot of time to spend watching one part of me just shading it. So normally I do spend about like two hours in total filming the video and then editing it especially because I have a lot of content to upload like i'm working on multiple projects currently so i just finished coloring her gucci bag i realized that i didn't go for like the proper gucci you know the beige but i thought that never mind this isn't really supposed to be realistic this is just supposed to be her and how she likes so she wants her custom gucci bag to look a kind of a bit tacky ish i don't know if you know what i mean um, I also did their hair brown because I came up with this backstory that she dyed her hair pink and that was because um, she did wanted to copy Cordelia who I was talking about in the previous video who was the princess of the M&M's kingdom because she can be very jealous at times so her family has just got this like classic dress and also I just went onto pinterest again to find a man's like old-ish kind of style vintage for his for the king's outfit so i think i just used a bit of gray for the fur and i also made like an elsa dress for queen margaret because i thought it was so pretty after i tried out two different blues so i think i used royal blue and this other blue which i can't even remember the name i think as i get more familiar with my colors i tend to recognize them a bit more from what i know like i know skin colors always 131 even though i don't even have the marker set with me right now but yeah i think later i'm gonna further develop this character aurora and even make an oc comic with her and her family and her brother and maybe with the M&M's Queen Cordelia which I hinted which I'm going to design an OC for as well. So I'm actually really pleased with the result. I think it looks super colourful and I'm really proud of myself and here's some shaky footage that I had on the end that I filmed on my phone. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So bye for now!